Hi, today I want to share with you a software I built. It is a Monte Carlo simulation that seeks to predict the price of a stock. And I built this software because there are many tools out there to make Monte Carlo simulations, but most of these tools are in Python and it's hard to create a front end for Python or if the, if the person wants to deal directly with Python, then they, they have to know how to import libraries and how to code. Um, I teach financial technology and I run into this topic often and I thought it would be interesting to create uh, a tool that can show the student or for that matter, anyone who's interested how the Monte Carlo simulation works. Now, there are a million possible applications for this. This is just one of them. Um, also, this is built on React to create the user interface. All the computation is done within React. That means that the computation is done in your computer. Uh, the data is an API call from FinHub. And FinHub um, has a lot of free data. They also have a, a premium tier, but all the, all the data that I use in, in the simulation in this, in this program is part of the free tier. So let's start. The first step is to have um, a valid ticker. So every stock, every stock in the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange has a ticker. Uh, I think the maximum is four letters, but it can go down to, to one letter. And the ticker identifies, identifies each company. Let's go back to the default, which is Apple. You have to include the number of days in the past. So how much historical data you want, you want in the model. The default is one year, but you can play around with this number. Uh, we want to predict the price in the future. So how many days in the future do you want that prediction? Here, I say 100 days in the future, we see, which is 21st January 2024. But you can also play with that value. And lastly, the number of simulations. So to explain what the simulation is and how it works, let's start with just one simulation. There you go. So all the values in orange are real prices. And then it turns purple. And the, turtle, the purple are predicted prices. How do we get the predicted prices? So um, this histogram here is the histogram of daily price changes within that year. And they follow this curve and we're gonna make the first assumption, which is it's a normal curve. And on average, the change was 16, 16 cents. So that tells us that every day on average, the, the price of the stock was increasing by 16 cents every day within that year. And it also gives us a standard deviation. Now we're going to make the second big assumption, which is also written here, which is that each daily price change is a random event. And this second assumption is a bit bigger than the first one, the normal distribution. Making those assumptions, we can make the prediction. So we take the last um, reported price. We create a random number, but this random number has to follow the normal distribution that I just described. And it creates the number and we add that price change to the last known price. And that will give us our first prediction. Then we create another random number that follows that distribution and we add it to the first predicted price 
and it gives us the second predicted price. And we keep generating random numbers that follow this distribution and keep adding it. And that's how we create a whole series of predicted prices. Um, notice the value here. So given that it's only one value, the average will be just the value that is being predicted by the single simulation. If I keep pressing run, notice that the value will change. Also, the graph will change. So something I think is cool about the software is that you can see the simulation happening in front of you. And you see that every time will be different because it has this random component. But this is just one price. And the idea of the Monte Carlo simulation is to have multiple simulations. So this is a very good example. It gives us one line for the historical price. And then when we reach today, it fans out into the multiple predictions. Some of them going up, some of them going down. And this gives us 10 prices, 10 predicted prices for 21st January 2024. And this is a histogram of those prices. It has an average price and it has a standard deviation. Now, if we increase the number of simulations, it will look closer and closer to the normal distribution. Let's do 1,000. So when we do 1,000 simulations, it looks much closer to the normal distribution with an average price and with a standard deviation. Notice this is standard deviation of 25. So I could keep adding zeros, but I won't. And the reason is that the, more, the, the higher the number of simulations, the slower your computer. And if you overburden your computer, you will crash your browser. Um, so I will stop here. But you guys can explore this. I, on purpose, didn't put a data validation cap on the maximum number of simulations. Uh, just like I didn't put a, a maximum number for how many days in the future. So let's play that. Let's increase the number of days in the future by 10. And let's see how it looks. So there you go. We have the real prices. And then it fans out. And it, this, uh, the standard deviation keeps increasing, increasing, increasing as we go further into the future. The last standard deviation was $25, but now it's 88. Also, the average is, is changed. So that is pretty much it. Uh, I encourage you to go and play with um, the variables. This is an S3 bucket. One of the reasons I designed it this way is because I don't need a backend. Uh, it's cheaper to deploy it in an S3 bucket uh, in uh, Amazon Web Services. So play around with this. Remember that this is um, running in your browser. And lastly, uh, down here, you have the GitHub. And all this code is free. If you want to go and explore the code, it is for you to use and to improve and to share with friends. If you find any bugs, do let me know. If you have ideas for further material for, for other programs, do let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Thank you.